Hello everybody. Uh, today I've decided that I'm going to create another sandbox level for the workshop. Um, had this idea while I was watching uh, Zatos' stream and he was working on a level and uh, I thought, hey, it would be interesting if the solution looked kind of like this and I had an idea of some kind of like swirly looping thing. Um, and so I thought I'd build a level to kind of, to, uh, I guess, inspire that solution. Um, I feel like it's, I don't know if it, I feel like there may be a lot easier solutions for it, but hopefully I can make it hard enough to where that is pretty much the solution you need to do. The basic idea is, get some platforms on here. In fact, I'm going to create one of these. Um, so you've got three cars, and they go, well they could go at this, I guess they could go at the same time or different times. Um, I'll probably make it near the same time, who knows. Um, but you've got, let me create vehicles, you've got A that goes up here, got B that goes in the middle here. And then you've got C that goes on the bottom. Now this is the main thing on here is that there are um, there are no hydraulics. I'll, I'll leave them there suspensions. And there are, and all these cars are really fast, and they go the same speed, and they go the same speed. So I'm going to set all these to say 450. Yep, oh, come on. Zatos was trying to make a uh, like some kind of a latch thing, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put all these on the same phase, so he can't even don't even have that option. So um, either people will come up with other solutions for this, or it will be probably one of the more difficult maps I've got in the workshop. Um, or it's kind of more difficult conceptually, I guess, to figure out what you, what to do as opposed to actually. Um, completing it, I guess. So I'm going to create all these points here. Let's see how much road I've got. And I might make my gap bigger. Um, I need to make it bigger now. That. Oh, that's not friendly. Okay. It's kind of hard for I guess the game to figure out what you want to be attached to the edge there and what you don't. So, um, I want this to be. Hmm, that's fine. I, I was trying to figure out if I want it to be really big or not. So, um, I'm gonna make this with wood. Here. Oops. Going to this probably doesn't need to have the full loop going in, but I'm going to do it anyway. I might put a balloon up to have an, an anchor at the top, too.
All right. So as you can see, the idea is that they basically all have to follow the same path. But so A is going to have to loop around twice. B is going to have to loop around once, and then C will just go right here. Um, um, so I'm going to first. I'm going to try to build this without a point at the top. Um, that might, in some ways, give away the answer or give away the idea too easily. Um, I don't know if that's a, I mean, sometimes you kind of want that, sometimes you don't, I guess. Um, So I have to make a lot of uh, connections on here. Um, now this is certainly one I might have to test the level in addition after I do this to so make sure that I can't do anything a lot simpler that I didn't think about. Um, well, if this holds up, it might be good. <laughs> well, this does not hold up. Let's just uh, replace this top part here with steel. Okay. And so they don't even get close to enough speed. Um, wow. Um, they're already at 500. So I'm going to move them back a little bit this way they'll have a little more of a running start I don't like it because you can't see them hmm oh I might have to modify this in the text editor I can't make it different. Um, well, let me see if I can make it even go further back by. This will have to be something that will have to change, but. Whoop, come on. I need to go here. So I'm going to. Um, do this kind of deal to get them even more of a running start. Um, this is something I would never leave in my level because I think they look really really ugly I'd rather uh... okay so then let's create another one I would rather um, I basically will create platforms elsewhere okay They broke this bridge. So, I might actually consider doing Vespas. Because they're not, they're less likely to break this thing. Or anything, really. Vespas are like feather light. So. Yeah, let's try some Vespas, see how they work. Um, let's just create vehicle. Old man Vespa, you need to get your, your speed on. Let's do maximum vehicle. Old man Vespa. I guess I should start giving a disclaimer in these videos that if you you should try playing it before watching me make it because I'm kind of giving you the solution or a solution I guess not all the levels have one solution 
this one I've don't know how many other solutions there are. I'd have to sit around and think about possible other ways of doing it. Um, the key point is that since these are all the same speed, then they're going to, if you made a jump, they'll all jump the same distance. Um, so it's really hard to split them up. So you have to, um, you could have a less of a top to your, your, uh, your roof. Um, Well, that's getting there. Um, I think I need to move this one. Is it the anchor that's off? I guess. Okay, I think I sh Oh, okay, so this one completed his pass. And then... He just didn't quite get there, did he? Um, how did he miss that flag? All right. Oh, I got it that time. All right. But somehow B failed. So, or the second one failed. Give it a little more space. Well, I can try shrinking all this. I really need to shrink the outer one. In fact, the uh, I don't even need a lot of this. I'm gonna, I can probably shrink it down quite a bit, with, like the budget, by removing the top part of the inner loop. As long as it doesn't fly off and keep circling around, then it should be okay. Okay, let's, uh, there we go, let's see how this works. Okay, well. So close, so, so close. <laughs> okay, um, all right, I'm going to save, well, Hopefully I can just see if I can save uh, the level. Let's do swirl, swirl. Oh gosh, swirl. How do I spell that? Do I mean swirl? Thank you, Google. Let's see, swirl. Sure. Um, I'm kind of describing this little loop thing, but I don't want to like describe it like so in depthly to where you just obviously built this. Um, in fact, I might make it swirly. So there we go. Now I'm going to tab over, uh, and then I'm going to save this here. Okay, and that might work again. Now I'm going to do stuff that you won't be able to see off the screen. Um, mostly just because my camera's not set up for it. Um, I'd have to like share my notepad plus plus. So I need to go to find wherever my levels are at. I always I've got a shortcut on my desktop, but I got a lot of crap on my desktop too. Okay, so they are in my uh, name, app data, local low, local low, dry cactus, poly bridge, and then sandbox layouts. Um, they are 
.pdl files that you can open up. And then, um, and then basically these are like XML files. Uh, so you close all of this. Uh oh, no, don't save that. I had some other stuff open. Um, and then you just have to like kind of just. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to explain if you don't know how to do stuff like that without showing you anything. Um, basically, I just have to find so there's the anchors, here's the. So I've got the position of all the anchors, here's the terrain, um, information about terrain layouts, layout of all the terrains. You kind of have to have them around because it's all put on one line. So there's vehicle events and I think this is what I want. Yep, so I've got vehicle, 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 and I've got ship events, but there are, which there are none. Okay, so i got three vehicles. I've got their positions, their the groups, their target groups. I thought that would all be the same. Uh, speed multiplier is 5.0, which is 500%. So if I take them all to 7.0, they will be at 700%. Okay. Now let's go back to the game, if I can find my game. All right, and then I'm going to load the swirl thing, wherever it is. One swirly. Okay. Now these guys are at 700%. So now I need to see if I can load my bridge back. Yay, I can. All right. That was all kind of unexpected. <laughs> all right. So, oh, yeah. So these guys definitely have the speed. There's a little bit of a bumping here. So I do need to figure out how to fix that. I don't know if that is necessarily if that is the curve of my road or if it is the the location of my anchor point. Uh, actually, I might have an issue with where these are. Let's take these. I mean, I didn't resize them at all. Okay, and then I don't know if that was an issue or not. Sometimes when I resize them to be 100 or 250 or whatever, I have lots of issues with that. Oh, it broke it. Okay, oh, because this is a road. All right. We. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, uh oh, no, 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 don't do that. Do not do that, that is bad. <laughs> Oh no, everything has gone to hell. Alright. Hell in a handbasket. Gosh. I think that's. I feel like that is correct, it's just not. It's just the angle that I'm hitting it at. It's, Maybe I'll just make it further back just because. Same with the side, just for a little symmetry here. Okay, so this should be smooth. There we go. Yeah! Alright. So, now what I want to do is I want to get rid of this nastiness. So, which unfortunately means I basically just have to move everything. Um, I'm going to take this whole guy, just put him elsewhere, and then I'm going to, so these guys, I want these to be basically moved all the way up here and look like a normal level. And then I want to get rid of these. Then I think I need to move this out quite a bit. So 
So it's kind of uh, difficult or annoying how these uh, things don't quite stick quite right. I imagine that's a hard problem to solve. Um, um, I'm going to create a, one of these. I'm going to make this at 250. Or maybe I should just go in the editor again. Or I could make this just a long gap. He can't move these further to the left because it said it, the game's like, oh, you must have a gap. And I'm like, I don't want my gap to be here. So. <laughs> Um, so that's something I don't really like. Um, I don't really want the challenge to be the bridge that goes across. Um, so why don't, what I'll do is I will put a nice rock in the middle here. And I'll put an anchor point on that. And then that will give it just enough to where you don't really realize that. The point of this is something different. These anchors are very telling to as, as far as uh, to why would I put an anchor in there? <laughs> so imagine it's hard to make that leap from make this weird swirl thing to that anchor being there. Okay, I'm gonna just copy this guy. Don't flip him upside down. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep them regular. Okay, so do that. Okay, and then I'm going to. I'm going to put this so it's centered somehow. I do not like off-center things. If I wanted this to be off-center, I would move it like way over here, or like over here. So. I want the player, to, if it looks like it's centered visually, I don't want you to like measure it out and then find out that it's not. <laughs> um, okay, let's see if this works here still. My anchor's in the right spots. Oh, okay, so one of those is, oh no, undo. All right, so this is, was higher before. How did that happen? It looks like it was might have been too high before, if that was the case. Because there's a little gap there. Yeah, I don't want floating platforms. Or maybe just move these up on the platform as it is right there. Okay, let's cut. Paste, all right. All right, there we go. That is really cool. So, then, let's see. I'm going to hit play again. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna try to make a thumbnail. Zoom out. Okay, so square, I think that's about right. Uh, I submit to workshop. Oh, I need to get my little picture, my character of the night. I don't even know how, how long have I been going on this video now. Where's my recorder? Um, 24 minutes. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, I don't know what I'd do if it was over. I'd just be like, all right, well guess you're watching a longer video. I don't like to edit my videos because I'm lazy. So, there we go. Let's paste this in. So like all the big parts where I edited the file and you couldn't see anything, you just, I don't know, maybe you'll put a note or something as to what time it the video resumes. <laughs> okay, uh, this is what I call Whirly. I'm 
don't even think I'm gonna even do it like Swirly's Road. I almost make it sound like Swirly's the name of a person. Expert. Alright. This is more of one of those conceptual experts as opposed to like actual like construction experts. Some things are more technically like an expert as far as it's it's even if you kinda know what to do, it's kinda hard to build. And then this one is more of a once you know what to do. Oh, I cannot submit this yet. I have not put in a budget. Um, I think all this stuff saves anyway. Um, well, let me just copy this just in case. All right, copy. I'm not going to move the camera around. How much should I spend? 77. That is that. Oh, and then no, it moved my. It deleted some of my roads. So I guess I'll make this 80. People are going to wonder, like, 80k? Holy cow, there's a ton of money here. Um, and we're like, yes, there is a ton of money. So, alright, so I'm turn the grid off. I don't know why those got removed. I feel like that is a bug. Um, I think it might have they thought that they were too long or something. Um, I wonder if I can get this down to 75. I don't want it to be 80. Alright, that should be fine. So let's make this 75. I guess I'm really cutting you short on the uh, materials. Um, I might be able to actually solve it by kind of removing this part. As long as when this goes over here, it doesn't, like it jumps up. As long as it doesn't fall in this lower section, but continues down here. All right, so I'm not going to sit there and play this map a ton, ton of times to see if I can find other solutions that are easier, or just other solutions. Um, instead, I'm just going to go back here, and I'm going to yay this text aid. All right. Orleys Road. stuff here. Alright, that sounds good. So let's let's simulate play this guy. Alright, there we go. So I'll be submitting this one right away and that way if people are following me they can see my video of me creating the level, I guess. Because I think I've got a couple videos queued up that I'm trying not to submit too many in one day. Because I don't get them every day. So, Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you stay tuned for my next video.